everybody. Today I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about Beltane, when it happens, and some great ideas that you can do during this Sabbat season. Now, Beltane happens when the sun is in 15 degrees of Taurus. Now, this typically happens around May 1st, and that's traditionally when it's been celebrated. Now, Beltane is all about fertility and sex and passion and getting in touch with our primal energies. Now, the colors for this season are red and white, as well as any color that you see out in nature. Now, May Eve, which is April 30th, it's fun and traditional to jump over a bale fire. Now, because of the hazards involved in jumping over a bonfire, I would recommend that you just take a cauldron and light a candle in it Make a wish as you're jumping over the fire, and lovers can also hold hands while they're jumping over the fire as well. Another thing that you can do is do an I Love Me ritual or I Love Me spell. Now, I have a video regarding love spells and love affirmations, and this is one of the things that I've created in that, spell, or in that video um, that helps with that particular spell. Um, I have a video previous to this that shows you how to create ribbon wind catchers and something that my family likes to do is take rose water, which you can buy this at most curio shops or new age shops, and spray or spritz the wind catcher before you put it out with rose water and as you're doing that, you're incorporating earth, which is the rose, water, which is the water that it's in, and air. And so when you hang this up outside, you infuse your intentions into the rose water and you put it onto here and then you will have an air spell that will be blowing for the entire Beltane season. Yay! Or, or you know, like however long this is hanging up. This is also a really great time to get in touch with your animal totems and a really great time to do divination. I have a video about um, finding your animal totem, and if it doesn't work the first time, you know, keep trying, because sometimes it takes three or four times, but this is the perfect time to get in touch with your animal totems. Now, if you are lucky enough to live in an area that has public sabbats, I would highly, highly recommend going, because most of them will have their traditional maypole. Now what the maypole symbolizes is the fertilization of the god, you know, through the goddess and also the fertilization of the land at this time. And it's so fun to dance one and hopefully you'll have one if you have children that is family friendly because the kids absolutely just love dancing around the maypole. It's so much fun. Another great thing that you can do at this time, since the veil, like at Samhain, is very thin at this time, so this is the perfect time to get in touch with the fairies of the land, or the fae, and the nature spirits. And they are all over, and they are just everywhere. So once you come in contact with them, you will know. An easy way to let them know that you are willing and able to... Um, communicate with them and you're ready to learn from them, set out some crystals in your yard or in your sacred space because fairies love crystals and they also love very delicate bells. Now don't get the real large ones because fairies don't really like really large gonging bells and that is why large churches have large bells because back in the day um, people wore large bells, especially cattle. They had those big cow bells that every time they would walk, they would jingle. And that is because people thought that if you had large bells, that would scare away the fairies, so the fairies would not spoil the milk of the cattle. And also for the churches, it kind of carried through to the churches so that it would, you know, scare away any, um, you know, mischievous beings. So, yay! But, and I also have a video about how to make fairy houses. Summer solstice is also a great time for, you know, fairy divination and, you know, coming in contact with fairies. But this is the perfect time to start planning and letting them know that you're ready for them to come into your life. Now, I also have a video about making incense and oil for this particular sabbat. And this incense and oil is so good. And this is one of my favorites. It's just so full of passion and just woo, I love it. So, 
Another thing that's done at this time of year, if you go to Publix the Bots, is a May King and Queen will be chosen and they will perform the symbolic Great Rite, which is taking the chalice and the athame and joining them together. Now what this symbolizes is the goddesses and gods union uh, in marriage and also the act of fertilization of the land and all its beings. Now with that said, I would highly recommend that you start to, or use this sabbat as a platform to start speaking with your children about healthy sexual relationships with another partner, whether it is the same sex or, you know, like two different sexes. I believe that the younger that they are, when they start learning about primal energies and healthy sexual relationships, that the more apt that they are to have a healthy sexual relationship when they're older. And especially since historically sex and sexual relationships have been so, um, I don't want to say demonized, but shown in previous religions that it's a bad thing if you have, you know, sexual relations when you're not married or if you have same-sex relations. And I would highly recommend that you really think about those things yourself. And then also, once you're solid in what you believe, then you share your beliefs with your children and see if they have any questions for you. Because the more education that they get on this topic, the more healthier they're going to feel going into relationships in the future. Traditionally, for the cakes and ale portion of the sabbat, milk, oats, honey, as well as mead are used. But if you have dietary restrictions, such as myself, I choose to use soy milk for the ale portion and quick fruit tarts for the cakes. Now, I, I like the fruit tarts because oh, they're so delicious and so decadent, and the fruit, to me, symbolizes the sweet passion of life. Woohoo! Okay, now for the goddess and god at this time, this is my goddess statue of Flora. And the goddess Flora, she actually has her own celebration day, which is April 28th. And so, um, since that's my name, I always have a little celebration for her. But she is the goddess of flowers and fertility and passion. And so, if you can find... A maiden goddess that symbolizes passion for you, then go for it and use that one. And the god at this time is the green man, who is all primal and all ready to go, and he is ready to fertilize the land. And the altar cloth that I'm going to use for this sabbat is this gorgeous uh, cloth that I got. I actually used this as a veil when I was doing belly dancing, and this has always been one of my favorites. So this is the one that I'm going to use. Well, I hope you have enjoyed seeing some of the ideas that me and my family use. And this is only a very small portion. Beltane is one of the most elaborate and fun and fantastic sabbats in, you know, the whole turning of the wheel. And I highly recommend, if you've never attended a, you know, public sabbat for Beltane, I highly recommend, please, please go do it. Search one out, go to witchbox.com and find one in your area or, you know, find some friends and relatives and see if they want to dance the maypole. That's still actually celebrated in a lot of just regular secular towns and villages throughout the world. So, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic sabbat and blessed be. Bye-bye.